Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this kind of cool explosion effect. Uh, a little background, uh, today I was in digital photography and I had this explosion that I found in Google Images and this kid asked me, Taylor, how did you find that cool explosion, did you make that yourself? And I had to tell the kid that I did not make it myself, which is kind of embarrassing because in that class I'm known to do everything by myself. I don't use other people's images, like in my speed arts I use all the images I find on the internet. Um, but in class, I usually make everything myself, so uh, I had a couple problems earlier recording this video because of my mouse clicking, as you can see. It's super loud when I click, so I'm just going to be using my mouse pad, or not my mouse pad, my keyboard. So I'm sorry if that's really loud too, I'll try to keep it to a minimum. But pretty much what we're going to be making is this explosion effect right here, and when I made this video... When I made the last video, which I messed up really bad on, I accidentally made it on a black background, but when we make it, it's going to be on a transparent background, that way you can move it around um, and set it on whatever uh, mode you want. You could even put it on color dodge or something like that uh, to get a cooler effect, and you can't, you can put it on something other than screen. So let's start a new file here. And what we're going to do is a thousand width by a thousand height by 72 pixels per inch. And background contents, I'm just going to leave transparent. So let's press OK. I'm going to close out of this one so it's not running in the background. And let's make a black background. Make sure you make a new layer. It, it's not really mandatory, but it helps. For this part right here, I'm actually going to use my mouse, but I'm going to put it on my leg, so that way it's not as close to the thing, the mic. <laughs> so pretty much what you're going to want to do is, no, I can't do this. I have to put it somewhere. I'm just going to put it up here. I'm really sorry for the really loud clicking, but it's necessary. So we're going to use a really soft brush, zero hardness, and size about 700. Yeah, I think 700 is pretty good. <laughs> and then make it completely red and just click. And then we're gonna make a little bit more of an orange color and scale it down to about 600, click right in the middle. There we go. A Little bit more orange. Make it 500, click right in the middle. As you can see, we're, we're starting to get this really nice gradient effect that's turning a red to a orange. And we're just gonna keep doing this until we get to yellow, so. I'm going to have a pretty harsh jump right here, but we can fix that later when we are smudging. So yeah, it's not perfectly centered. I know the dots are a little off in some places, but for the time being, that's going to be fine because we're going to be moving stuff around and it'll be fine. I promise. So these are some brushes that I believe come with Photoshop, so it doesn't really matter. Any of these right here will work. I'm going to pick this one. doesn't really matter. I don't think I've used this one, even though I've done this project 60,000 times. So size jitter, I'm just going to put up to 100. Minimum diameter is 0. Angle jitter, 100. Roundness jitter, 100. Minimum roundness, 1. I'm going to put the spacing so that they're not all up on top of each other. Scatter, I'm going to put up to about 150. Nope, not that much. 150. Count, I'm going to put on 2, and then count jitter, 100%. Smoothing, I'm going to leave on, and then put this up a little bit, but not too much. So yeah, make sure you're brushing out, then in, out, then in. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller so that I'm not going off the edge. So out, in, out, in, out, in. So after you get this done, you... Your explosion is starting to take effect, but as you can see, it doesn't really look that great. We'll fix that here in a second. The great thing about this explosion is that no matter what, it's almost impossible to get the same effect as somebody else. It'll look pretty similar, but it'll always be different. So what you're going to do is press Command T and then uh, just kind of rotate it around so that you have a little bit of variety when we go to change the colors here. So let's go Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, and just put the brightness up to maybe 55. 
and let's smudge it again just a little bit and then I'm gonna make another one of these and move it over there press apply and I'm gonna set this to screen yeah that looks that looks pretty nice so I'm gonna take this background this back one make a copy of it spin it around a little bit and I'm gonna put it on top and set the FX color overlay to a white and then we're gonna put it to overlay so that way it really it drastically changes our color as you can see that to this it's a pretty drastic change I'm just gonna change the opacity on it just a little bit and then when you are done just shift and click your bottom layer merge layers and you have this really cool explosion effect you can continue to play around with the image adjustments brightness contrast or the colors and stuff but I'm pretty happy with this as you can see every time you do this it's gonna be a different explosion it's gonna look different every time so mine is probably gonna look different than yours but hopefully you could follow this tutorial and reproduce it in a way that you still get a pretty cool explosion so even if you want to you can continue to smudge it out it changes it but it doesn't really help that much I guess it doesn't change it all that much so when you're done you can pull this into a new comp not a comp a new what is it called in Photoshop I don't even know new file I guess and you can use it in your signatures backgrounds anything I'm gonna upload this explosion right here onto maybe a pick or tiny pick or photo bucket or something like that that way you guys can use this explosion if you don't really want to follow this tutorial but I highly encourage you to because you learn a lot about well not really learn but you get to try out the smudge you get to try out brushes and everything so I hope you like the tutorial and make sure to subscribe for more see you guys